if there's one thing that's been consistent in entertainment over the past two decades, it's that South Park will take shots at absolutely anything and everything. And we saw not that long ago, I guess a couple months ago at this point, the Enter the Pandaverse, where they took a lot of shots at Disney, Star Wars, and Kathleen Kennedy and things like that. Well, there's a new South Park special out, and it's surrounding fat people and the medical system and healthcare and things like that. Lizzo was referenced in this South Park special, and it looks like she tried to get ahead of this thing, you know, unlike the diabetes that's well on the way. She tried to get ahead of this, and she decided to react to the portion of the new South Park show that features her. Lizzo reacts to South Park naming an Ozempic alternative after her. My worst fear. The show's latest special featured a fake medication called Lizzo, which helps users feel good about their weight. Um, it's, I, there's no way that Lizzo actually feels good about her weight. It's all a fucking cope. There's no way that somebody that disgustingly fat and obese and gross actually feels comfortable about it. It's just all a massive cope. But let's get into it. There, uh, there she is in all her glory. Guys, my worst fear has been actualized. I've been referenced in a South Park episode. I'm so scared. I'm going to blind duet to it right now. Why the, first of all, listen, I have cuts in some of my videos every once in a while, you know, um, where it's like a fucking sentence at a time. There's cuts in between when she's a sentence. You can't go longer than that. Guys, my worst fear has been actualized. I've been referenced Cut. in a South Park episode. Cut. I'm so scared. Cut. I'm going to blind duet to it right now. Jeez. Like, what the fuck is wrong with it? You have no critical thinking skills at all, apparently. Anyway, that's an aside. Let's get into this. Here we go. I was telling you, Sheila, these new drugs are pretty amazing. I was feeling so ashamed of myself, watching Brandy go out and exercise all the time and not eating as much. But I just don't have the same kind of willpower he has. Which of the drugs are you on, Sharon? Ozempic? Manjaro? Oh, no, I talked to my doctor. He said insurance would only pay for those if I had diabetes. But if you can't afford them, then how are you managing your weight? Don't you know, Sheila? Now there's a whole new obesity drug for those of us who can't afford Ozempic and Manjaro. I've controlled all my cravings to be thinner with Lizzo. Oh, <laughs> it's Lizzo. FDA-approved Lizzo makes you feel good about your weight. And it costs 90% less than Ozempic. I've lowered my standards and my expectations. It's Lizzo. In case studies, 70% of patients on Lizzo no longer care how much they weigh. 70% of people no longer care about how much they weigh as this manatee is sitting there reacting to this. Uh, fucking, I love South Park. Thank you so much. I don't give two shits. Lizzo helps you eat everything you want and keep physical activity to a minimum. Some <laughs> patients report constipation while listening to Lizzo. Stop listening to Lizzo if you experience suicidal thoughts. Serious side effects may include pancreatitis, hypothermia, the fucking and album. Out your ears. <laughs> Are you living with concerns of obesity? I like how they just went to, I like how they went from, hey, this is fake drug that's called this thing to just shitting all over her actual music. <laughs> Ask about the power of not giving a fuck with Lizzo. Period. That's crazy. I just feel like, damn, I'm really that bitch. I'm really that bitch. I really showed the world how to love yourself and not give a fuck to the point where these men in Colorado know who the fuck I am and put it on their cartoon that's been around for 25 years. I'm really that bitch and I'll show y'all how to not give a fuck and I'm gonna keep on showing you how to not give a fuck. Oh, 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 Lizzo. You know, thankfully, uh, because she doesn't give a fuck about how fat, gross, and disgusting she is, even though she proves time and time again she actually does, uh, she won't be around for long. She's not going to have a very long life. I think we all understand that. There's no possible way that that's going to happen at her size, at her health. Uh, but yeah, th that is a, a cope. I just, I'm that bitch. South Park ma makes fun and brutally roast people. That's what they do. Uh, and so you're you're one of many fucking people over the course of 20 or 25 years that has now been roasted by South Park because you're embarrassing. Now, sometimes those things are a little more lighthearted than others, but uh, uh, the idea, 
I'm just that bitch. They care that I'm so good at not caring about how what a fat, ugly bitch I am and just love myself that these people in Colorado know who I am. Oh, yeah, this is awesome for me. Massive cope. Glad you got ahead of this Lizzo and reacted to it to pretend like it doesn't bother you. But uh, good on South Park. Another another banger from the South Park guys taking shots at Lizzo for being fat and disgusting.